A paleontologist cracked open a rock and discovered a prehistoric amphibian with a clever survival strategy. In prehistoric times western Wyoming was a land of lethal extremes. When it rained it poured for months on end, and when the monsoon ceased, the area became so hot and dry that it was deadly for animals like amphibians, which require moist skin to stay alive. However, according to a recent study, a newly discovered species of salamander-like amphibian devised a strategy to survive roughly 230 million years ago. The creature waited out the harsh climate of the late Triassic by burrowing deep into moist riverbeds to avoid drying out between monsoon seasons, a process known as seasonal estivation. This discovery began incidentally in 2014, when a researcher at the university picked up a soccer ball-sized rock on the way back to his car near Dubois, Wyoming. The Popo Aji comes from a crow word for beginning of the waters, and although the formation is rife with ancient crocodiles and amphibians, most of the fossils were picked through in the early 20th century. It is known as the Big Red Dead. There are no fossils, it's not worth your time. The rock he collected however, came from a layer of sandstone below the Popo Aji, and contained a small fossilized burrow. Back at his lab he decided to extract the burrow. Being a good geologist he hit the whole thing with his hammer, Instead of popping the burrow out of the surrounding rock, the hammer shattered the rock and revealed the skull of a small animal. At first it looked reptilian with its rows of tiny teeth. But after reconstructing the bones, Lovelace noticed indications of a lateral line organ, part of the sensory apparatus that amphibians use to react to changes in their aquatic environment. With the help of researchers at the Field Museum in Chicago, he created high-resolution CT scans of a different fossil burrow from the site, revealing a partial skeleton inside. At this point they concluded that they discovered something great. They went back to put together the geological story of the site, and then they were finding these burrows everywhere. Although his research group has not yet uncovered a full skeleton, they believe the ancient amphibian belonged to a group of primitive creatures known as temnospondyls. The animal was about a foot long and used its head, rather than its arms, to dig into the mud. Their skulls have kind of a scoop shape so we think they use the head to scoop their way underground at the bottom of a riverbed and go through a period of having a lower metabolic rate so that they could survive the dry season. The ancient amphibians burrowed into the riverbed, seemingly seeking moisture when the monsoons ended. Though the strategy probably helped many of their kind withstand the dry season, these individuals were unlucky, their river likely changed paths when it reformed, so they died in the ground when the waters never came. Researchers named the site Serendipity Beds, referring to the rich stratum in the upper layer of the gelm formation of the late Triassic where they found the burrows. This part of Wyoming is now part of the ancestral lands of the eastern Shoshone. The discovery itself might hold clues for how modern amphibians could adapt to the extreme weather brought on by climate change. Modern amphibian diversity is under substantial threat, and climate change is a huge part of that. But the way that Ninumbihan could slow down its metabolism to wait out the dry weather, indicates that some lineages of modern amphibians that have similar seasonal behavior might allow for greater survivorship than some of the models suggest. It's a little glimmer of hope.